Have you tried making a penny slider card? Here we're going to look at the ways that you can put these fun moving cards together. These are using the designs that featured in Papercraft Inspirations issue 147, designed by Debbie Simpson. So this is the beginner card. We're going to start off by making the track that the slider will need to move along. OK, so we're beginning. Using a stamping up word window punch, we're going to create that track. The paper we're using is from Lily of the Valley Sunny Side Up Design Paper. This bit measures 5 by 14 centimetres. The beauty of using it with this punch is that if you push the base of your paper down, there's, there's a handy guide so you can line it up just using the base of the punch. You have to slide the paper along, pushing each time to make the track. This is a very handy punch to use for this card, but if you haven't got this punch, don't worry. You can still create this track just by drawing it out on the card first and then scoring it out with a metal ruler and a craft knife. It's important that you end up with a smooth track because the penny will need to run along it. Checking it here, I've clearly missed a bit when I've been punching along, so I'm going to go back in and just punch again to make sure that the track I've made is nice and smooth so that my penny can move freely along it. Now we're going to add the slider track to the rest of the card design. We've made the base card here with Lily of the Valley sunny side up design papers from the same stack as the one that you used to make your slider card. There's also a sentiment and a flower embellishment, both of which are made using the Sheena Douglas Wild Rose stamp and die set from Crafter's Companion. Take the slider track you've made and stick lengths of 3D foam tape along three sides of it. This gives you the depth you need so that the slider element can still run once you've stuck it onto your card. Take a penny and attach a 3D foam circle to it. You need the, the circle to be smaller than the width of your track. That's one centimetre if you've been using the stamping up word window punch. We're sticking another penny on top of this. And now, because it's a foam circle, you can see how the weight of the penny makes it roll along the track. We're adding this embellishment, made from the Sheena Douglas Wild Rose stamp set. The stamps come with a coordinating die too, so you really can make these lovely, delicate and professional shapes. We've used both of the two flowers to make this embellishment, finished with a decorative gem in the centre. Now that we're happy with the way that the slider is running along the track, remove the backing tape from your 3D foam on the slider track, ready to stick it onto your card design. If the slider isn't running quite as smoothly as you'd hoped, it's not too late to adjust it. You can slightly bend the card around your slider track and pop the penny out and then just smooth off any rough edges in the track before you remove the backing tape to attach it onto the card. Once the backing tape is removed, line it up with the edges of your base card. It's better if the flower and the slider track are at the bottom of the panel. I'm using the cutting mat and the edges of the card to line it up and now that I'm happy with the position that it's in, I'm pushing down on the 3D foam to secure it in place. The slider element is in place and you have a lovely card ready to send to someone who likes a card with a little bit of fun incorporated. Mm -hmm.